Oops, that was clumsy of me. This is Lenny speaking. There's been an incident in aisle one. Staff to aisle one. Staff to aisle one. Bring them up, please. Thank you. Lonely subordinate Clute. Good thing you're here. Time to do your thing. I'll take care of it, boss kid. Mission accomplished. All good. Go Team Lenny! Go Team Lenny! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, I'm just going out on an errand. I'll be back, though. This is Lenny speaking. Could someone inform the new employee in I-1 that Team Lenny is very disappointed? Thank you! Oops, that was clumsy of me. This is Lenny speaking. There's been an incident in aisle one. Staff to aisle one. Staff to aisle one. Bring them up, please. Thank you. Lonely subordinate Clute. Clute, where are you at? Clute? I'll do it myself, then. And of course, it's always that same one floor tile. I hope this doesn't go against the spirit of Team Lenny or anything. Better not leave it in for too long. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the taking over the world part. What the? Crapotulus! What the f is going on here? What just happened? Suddenly, the whole laboratory just disappeared. Not a trace of any agent or anything. It's like this whole Pythonic Empire thing never happened. Hey, lowly subordinate Clute. Yes, boss kid. You wouldn't happen to know why the computer suddenly got infected with an insane amount of viruses, would you? Right after I saw you fiddling with it? Oh, I was just making sure you weren't using spaces instead of tabs. Spaces instead of tabs, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, Clute, I've got a little job for you. That empty freezer needs a good scrubbing. Would you mind going over it and scrubbing every inch of it? From the inside? Okie doke, boss kid. Oh, 
Whoa! Looks like this place has been flooded. Hey, you! How did you end up here? Hey, stranger! Did you also come here for the coin? Well, it's a long story. Hey, no worries. Plenty of coins for everyone. I'm Salty, by the way. Justin. Nice to meet you. I filled my pockets to the brim already. It's a new day for Salty. Who's your friend? Oh, Bones? We've just met. His breath might not be what you call minty fresh, but he's a really good listener. Do you know what caused that flood? I do. Care to tell me? Well, I saw this young lady about to throw some change in the fountain. Oh, you wouldn't remember the colour of her hair, would you? I'd say her hair was blue. Really? Blue as in cyan, more specifically? I suppose. Julia! So anyway, I told her, listen, there's so many coins down there that one might just cause the whole bottom to fall out. To which she replied, if that were the case, she would gladly surrender any claim over said coins to me. Huh. Hmm. A good, solid, and most of all legally binding conversation. That's what we had up there. Talk to you later, Salty. Mm-hmm. What's happening, Salty? What can I tell you? Me and Bones are having the time of our lives over here. Talk to you later, Salty. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it right there, mate. You leave Bones alone, you hear? Ain't no way you're gonna do something like that with my buddy Bones. Not while I'm still around, you hear? And I've got to say, that was a pretty monstrous thing of you to try. I mean, who does something like that? What's happening, Salty? What can I tell you? Me and Bones are having the time of our lives over here. I don't suppose you would be interested in visiting the past, would you? You suppose right, stranger. The past is what it is. I'm more of a forward-looking fella myself. Could I interest you in a second chance at a brighter future? A better future, huh? Was Salty as a man of wealth? Keep talking, stranger. Well, there's this rodent-powered time machine next door, and I've got a rabbit that can take you straight to the future. A time machine, huh? Now, see? That's something you don't hear every day. Yeah, I guess a new start for me and my newfound fortune might sound kinda interesting. But to muster up the courage for a ride like that, I might just need one last taste of salt water. Salt water? Hmm? It used to be something of a vice of mine. You know, before I came into some money. I'm not saying I'm nervous or anything. But it's not every day that I must take a ride in a rodent-powered time machine, if you know what I'm saying. I do, I do. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I would probably need a glass for that. Okay, one salt water coming right up. I think I've done enough to that fountain. Anyway, I can't really see what's down there. The glass is empty.
I think someone poured something down the drainage grid. Unfortunately, I wasn't fast enough to catch it. I would have needed a little more time to prepare. There's no way I'm touching that muddy puddle. Nah. Sure, I'll pour it out. Got it! Okay. One salt water coming right up. If I need to empty this, I'd better use the sink instead. Got it! Hey, I've got that salt water you asked for. Oh boy. Okay, let me have a shot of that. Then I'll be ready to meet that new future. Now, I don't suppose you're going to do anything beastly to my pal Bones after I leave, right? No. Ah, good. Now, I do have your word on that, right? Well, beastly is such a complex word to define. Is that so? You're a strange one, stranger. A strange one indeed. I prefer mildly eccentric myself. Oh, I bet you do. Good luck, Salty. I know you're going to be fine out there in the future. Maybe there's a sequel in there somewhere. If you can forgive me just this one last atrocity, old friend. And sorry to you too, Salty. Got it! Okay, come here, little buddy. Gotcha! Actually, I'm pretty certain I'm gonna slip on that thing if I try picking it up. That's strange. Some kind of trophy just popped up in my inventory. The plaque reads, For Outstanding Cowardice in Gameplay. Category, Banana Phobia. Signed, Dela. What? Just because I'm smart enough not to risk my life for a banana peel? I don't seem to be able to access the microwave at the moment.
So, that pet carrier. Real beauty, am I right? I'll let it go for. One small bunch of money! Ah, sorry, uh, got a bit carried away. I don't know, that seems a bit much. I'll have you know that I've seen a lot of interest in that thing lately. Poetry slam, huh? Count me in. Doubtful. You're saying you've got some good material? I'm not about to give away the prize of one small bunch of monies to just anyone, you know. Well, the poem I carry around may not be dynamite, but... Much as I thought. Come back when you're packing some heat, poetically speaking. Hey, B. Hey, Jules. So, tell me, who was that mechanical dude I saw you with earlier? Oh, don't get me started, B. It's been a long day. Do you think this is a good one for the poetry slam? Doubtful. Anyway, the slam ain't going down quite yet. I'm going to need something to get past those nasties. If only Oligarch were here. So, this poetry slam, it's uh, on, yes? Any minute now, Serge. We just need a few more contenders. Pfft, contenders. You know Serge will just crush them, right? Crush them like I always do. I know, I know. I scoff at these so-called poets. They are just lambs to the slaughter to Serge, n'est-ce pas? I hear you, Serge. Let me guess, you're a poet, right? Well, I am the arbiter of the angst most existential. The bringer of the poetic justice to all those who oppose me in battle. Armed with poetic license to kill, thrill, and yes, then some still. In short, I am Serge. Julia. So, is that your poem on the table? Oui. And when Serge does battle, he don't bring no duds. He brings verbal jewels of a quality most supreme, n'est-ce pas? You might say I pack the poetical heat. You look like you could use another drink. Well, red wine is indeed the lifeblood of my muse. Eh, hey, bartender! Another bottle of uh, lifeblood, uh, merci. Hmm. What now? Nice. I replaced it with that awful poem that Justin wrote. Eh? What was that? Oh, nothing. I was just rehearsing my poem. Pfft. Waste of time, Galus Blue Air. Waste of time. Later, Serge. A 
an earring with a hook. I wonder where the other one went. Poetry slam, huh? Count me in. Doubtful. You're saying you've got some good material? Oh, I've got the winning poem right here. Hmm. Let's find out. Thank you, thank you. Now, defending his championship title, the master, the poetic powerhouse, our reigning poetic patron, Serge. Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. I present to you my latest work of passion. Fresh from the fiery pencil of Serge. Mille tonnerre! Serge, he has been a victim of a sabotage. Problem, Serge? No, no, monsieur. Uh, maybe with my uh, superior freezing, I can win this still. <clears throat> Julie, Julie, don't be so cruelly. Mm -hmm. Come back to Justine, the one to put your... Yes? Trust in. Oh golly, how far the mighty have fallen. Hey, make the bouncer. I've got some rubbish that needs throwing out over here. And now, someone who assures me she has brought some dynamite poetry for you all. I give you Julia. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh oh. Problem? Well, my hands are a bit sweaty. Some of the ink has gotten a bit smudged. I guess I'm going to have to wing it a bit now and then. You better sort this out, Julia. I don't suffer fools on my stage, you know. <clears throat> I give you the seagull heart, fragments of a love forlorn. The sea may be green, the sea may be blue, like a man made of Velcro. I'm sticking to you. As I ponder your beauty, your beauty divine, am I too late? No. Just in time. Lost in a sea of scones and of brie, I gather my bearings and reach for my tea. I wrote you a letter, my precious and frail. Love may be blind. So I wrote it in Braille. Well, what do you know? We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad, Julia. Now enjoy the reward. One small bunch of monies. Thanks. I bet that will come in handy. Julia, got a craving for some finals again? Not today. I'm looking for something to scare away rats with. Not those big ones in the sewers? Yeah, those. Oh, that's a dilly of a pickle. Those guys don't scare easily. But you've got a cat, haven't you? I do.
So, that pet carrier. Real beauty, am I right? I'll let it go for. One small bunch of money! Oh, sorry, got a bit carried away. OK, enjoy this small bunch of monies. Deal! Oh, and by the way, all sales are final. That has a nasty ring to it, the way you say it. OK, oligarch, in the carrier you go. No, don't make a fuss. Gotcha. These rats think they're so tough. Wait till they get a look at my fierce little tiger. OK, do your thing, oligarch. Make Mummy proud. Oligarch, come back this instant. They're not that scary looking. Ish. I guess maybe Oligarch isn't quite the fierce tiger I was hoping for here. And now I've got to find him before I can do anything. But I don't think he's got very far. Justin! Finally! Julia! Don't worry. I'll find a way to cross that pit. Careful, Jules. As much as I'd like to see you again, there's some scary stuff living in that pit. <laughs> 